Hello, this is Drew from Young Solutions, and today we're going to be doing a brief tutorial about basic animation in SolidWorks. Now, there is more advanced animation that you can do than that will be covered in this video, and you could play around with that in the future. But if you just want a basic overview of how to animate stuff, then this is the video you should watch. Now, right here, I have an assembly that's just two of the same part placed in an assembly. It's not made it together or anything. It's, this is just for uh, an example of animation. So once you have your assembly or part and you want to animate it, come down to the bottom and there should be a tab that says Motion Study 1. Click that and then it'll bring up this timeline. Now, if you want to just create a basic animation that like have the part spin or something there is an animation wizard right here you can click that you can rotate the model for example that's probably the most basic animation you could do and SolidWorks has already done that so if you just want to rotate your model or do something simple this wizard should help you but if you want to do your own custom animation and zoom in on certain parts of your object then you you can do a custom animation and that's what this timeline is for and did you really, to do this, you have to understand the concept of keyframes. And if you have ever done video editing before or animation, this should be a very familiar concept. But if you haven't, I'll try to explain it here. So a keyframe basically is a position of a part. And when when you have two keyframes, the object will, move, in different positions, the object will move between those keyframes slowly. So for example, if you have a keyframe here with the object in this position and then two seconds later you create a keyframe of the object here it'll start then slowly over those two seconds move to the next keyframe now this basically is how you create all animation in SolidWorks at uh, basic animation anyway and you can do this with the position of parts or the camera now to enable keyframe creation on the camera right click on this right here that says orientation camera views and make sure disk Disable view key creation is not enabled and it, it is enabled now so I'm going to click it and this will allow you to create uh, keyframes for the camera. Now all you have to do is here's your timeline with different keyframes. To create a keyframe just click and then move the view or the object if you're moving an object. So I'm going to create a keyframe there. So now if I play the animation with this button it'll slowly move to the new position. And if I want to create another keyframe two seconds later, I can move it all the way here. So now, so far the animation looks like this. Now one thing to keep in mind is if you want to, for example, stay at this view for two seconds, you have to create another keyframe here. And by default, it won't create a keyframe unless you move the uh, view at all. So if you don't want to move it to say place key and now be, for these two seconds I can click play here. It'll just stop. So you have to be careful because if you just create a new keyframe here and don't want it to move it'll but then move it it'll move when you wanted it to be still. So make sure you create two keyframes that are identical if you want the object to not move for that duration. And you can also do this without the cam or with the position of object objects. So you could, for example, click here to create a new keyframe and then move the object like here, and then it'll create a keyframe. Now keep in mind that this means that it'll the object will slowly move throughout this whole animation because I didn't create a keyframe before that. I can play it from the beginning so you get an idea. See, it's slowly moving out. If you don't want that to happen and you want it to stay stationary until six seconds, you could actually just copy the paste this keyframe to here with Control C and Control V. Now it'll stay stationary until six seconds. I'm gonna wait for that to happen, or four seconds, yeah. It, it should, it might have just been a glitch, but it should stay stationary until this keyframe right here and then move in these two seconds. Once you're done with your animation, you can move the camera view all you want, move the position of different objects. All you have to do is say, save animation right here and it'll bring up this box. And then you can change the resolution. This is the default resolution it has just based on the window. I can actually change that. Make sure to uncheck fixed aspect ratio 
if you don't want a fixed aspect ratio. And I'm going to do 1920 by 1080, which is the resolution of my monitor and really the standard for online video, at least uh, right now. And then frames per second, any movies are of 24 frames per second. During the online video is 30 usually. I'll do 30. Anything less than 24 it will be choppy. You can rename this. I'm just going to name it test. And then say save. You can change the folder if you want to. I'm just going to save it to the desktop. Save. Right here, you can change the compressor if you want, but the default should be fine, even though that default one will create large files. Yes. Now it'll just render the animation 30 frames per second and I'll come back when it's done. All right, it's done animating. It didn't take too long. It's now saved to my desktop. I can open it on my other monitor here. And here it is, all rendered. You can see it's just a rotation until this keyframe and it froze. But now that's gonna move just like the keyframes indicated in this timeline. So hopefully this video was helpful. Please subscribe if you want more SolidWorks tips like this. Thank you for watching.